Alright, man. Can't go back. My boy X. Me, Daryl Strider. Yeah. I mean, first and foremost, listen. NCAA released today that basketball, men, women basketball, men basketball, NCAA football. Kids can report back when June. Kids June report 1st, back with June. Voluntary June first. Voluntary June first. Kids report back. Um, did you ever doubt that it was gonna be football? Or how did you feel about that? I knew it was gonna be football. Just maybe football without fans, but I just knew it was gonna be football. Right. Just football about fans. <laughs> you knew it was gonna be football. Yeah, it's gonna be football, but without you fans. You don't think it'll be no fans though. Yeah, it might might not be no fans. Right, 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 right. So listen, I mean, NCAA approves. Hmm. The cash cow, <laughs> the basketball, the football, to go back. They haven't said anything about baseball, I don't think. Um, and that's like a no-brainer, fool. Like, uh, uh, to be honest with you, like, um, a lot of money has been lost, and they kind of recoup their money back. I mean, so they gotta get their money. They're not gonna let. They, yeah, they gotta get their money back. A couple of colleges have, has cut out a, a few sports. Um, I can't name a few right now, but a, couple, a few colleges have cut some some sports out. Uh, but the cash cow in these big schools in the NCAA is football, so they're gonna figure out a way to run it. Whether they gotta charge you to watch it streaming online through the network, uh, but they're gonna figure they, they they'll figure figure out a way to get their money. Um, so that's a big deal. I mean, it's gonna have football. So that means not sure what they're gonna do with the media. Uh, we're usually on the sidelines at the games. Uh, I'm not really not sure what's gonna happen with that, but we'll find out in the future. But we're gonna have football. I mean, so that's looking up. We all love the game. But we gotta stay safe. And um, how you feel about it, man? You, you happy about it? You scared for the kids? Uh, Manny <laughs> Diaz was talking about somebody, somebody getting with the wide receivers and one kid giving another kid COVID, and now you ain't got no wide receivers, and then you know, yeah, it can get a little crazy. Bro. I mean, it, 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 it. It's a it's a it's a it's a scary situation, but at the same time, um, as you stated earlier, it's it's a cash cow, you know. Right. So, uh, not saying necessarily the schools are going to force the players, but the NCAA, the NCAA are going to force schools to play. Like you got to play if y'all want to receive <laughs> this conference money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And just like the NFL, the NFL they're going to force them to play because if you don't play, you don't receive the TV money. Right. So. If you want to play and you want to receive that conference money, you're going to play. You, you got to play. So it's, it's just that. And I, I, it's unfortunate that the kids aren't getting paid to play and all that. But, you know, they're looking at it as the next level of going to the professionals. So. Oh, well, it's coming. Yeah. It's coming, kids. Well, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> they're, gonna be able to... they're not going to pay them, but they're going to give them opportunity to make money. And um, there's a lot of opportunities out there. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of opportunities out there. Um, Next thing, man, me and X got to talking, man, and X was talking about Al Gold and how he sucked as a coach, right? And he was like, he was a bad recruiter. He wasn't a bad recruiter, but he sucked as a coach. And, uh, I, uh, and I told X, I'm like, listen, X, no, every coach that comes out of Miami, whether they win or lose, they always was decent recruiters. They say the same thing about all of them. Randy Shannon, oh, man, Randy sucked. He wasn't bad at recruiting, but... He was it's, bad at coaching. And my, coach. and my argument was, the only reason they're good at recruiting is because University of Miami sits at the end of the rainbow of football. They're not good at recruiting. It's just by default, the players they get are better than the players in other places. And, and, and so we went to looking at, I was telling him that, man, listen, man, we average top 10. We've always in the top 10. And he was like, nah, we're not always in the top 10, man. And I was wrong. Listen, we're not always in the top 10. But we're, we're always at the top echelon of college football and recruiting. And it's because University of Miami, little small private school, sits in the middle of football heaven. I tell this story, I say it all the time. If I had lived at King of Diamonds, I would eventually become a pimp. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I lived at King of Diamonds, I would eventually become a pimp. I have a couple girls working for me because I live at King of Diamonds. You know what I'm saying? That's how I see University of Miami when it comes to recruiting. Um, we looked it up. 
We had some 33. We had what? 22. We was 27 at one point. But that was like twice. Was, you know, and it, it's, I think one one year we was 27. That was, I think, when Al goes, I mean, not Al, that's Randy Shannon got fired. Right. And then Al go just had a horrible year, one year. Right. And we, like he said, you right. know, we, we at the center of the most fertile recruiting background. Right. Regardless of you on being good or not being good, it's no way. <laughs> Me personally, we should not be a top ten. Like it's just we right here. So, so so you're saying that we should always be in the top ten. We should always be in the top ten, no matter what. Right now, the fact that we aren't winning, it it does hurt a lot. But then you got recruiting coaches who not really doing their job. You know, um, on our next topic, right. you know, fans <laughs> listen, know. Listen, let's finish this one first. So, so X feels that UM should always be in the top 10. And my thing is that I'm like, dog, for us to be so sorry, it's amazing that we're always top 15. On average, top 12. On average, it had to be like top 12. Yeah, but 12, we're, we're getting 15. We're, we're, we're getting... We're getting, okay, you're getting the second tier of the Miami players, you know, the South Florida players. You know, just imagine if you're winning, you're going to get that first tier. No, if Miami starts winning, they'll be top five every year. Every year, without a doubt. If Miami, if, listen, Margaret won, what, 10 games? And, and, if and went in the top kept, 10 class. If Margaret went and went totally radio on us and came back and won another 10 games, Miami would have started pulling top Top ten, top five, yeah. right, 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 right. That's that. That would. That's a no brainer. If Miami starts winning now with this spread offense, it'll be a no brainer, cause they'll get one, two, five star wide receivers coming out of Miami to come here and catch. What? How, how many passes? How many passes can a kid catch a game? <laughs> hopefully, a wide receiver. Hopefully ten. <laughs> right, right. In, in this offense, a kid could catch ten. I had this conversation with some of these pairs. Like Jacory Brooks could have caught. 10 passes, 15 passes a game, and you're in offense. You know what I'm saying? That's like taking candy from a baby. Like, that's to a wide receiver, that's like everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, man, y'all let us know. Y'all uh, understand. You feel you should always be a top 10 class, even though we 13 and 13 the last the last two years, yeah, right? We 13 and 13. Bad, you think they should always be in the top 10 just out of default? You know what I'm saying? I think it's amazing that just, they just just out of being in my in the South Florida, I feel like it should be a top ten. That's me personally, and I know a lot of you guys feel the same way because we in the we in South Florida. But how bad would you feel if we was top ten every year and still could win the ACC? We were like, <laughs> which is what been happening since like what 2004? We joined the ACC, we <laughs> couldn't win it. Like, right, 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 right. Right, you know that's another subject we will talk about. So, so listen. So, so tell them the next subject that you say people wanted you to talk about. All right, so this um, I've been getting a lot of questions, you know, um, inboxes, DMs about um, one of our coaches uh, <laughs> played on one of the greatest teams one in college coaches. football, <laughs> two thousand and one national championships. Mike Brown, first round draft pick. Um, Went on to coach uh, American Heritage, then got the job at UM. Now he's our, our quarterback coach. Great coach, great coach, teaches great technique. He, he can develop great. <laughs> um, the question a lot of you fans have been asking me and others is, why can't Coach Mike Rump recruit the top cornerbacks in the nation, especially in South Florida? People in that year. They act they ask me that like it's 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 comical right now. They ask me, it's hard. I'm like, I don't even know like what answer to give them. <laughs> I mean in, in all reality is he's doing his job right. for the most. Um right. recruiting is is a, it got a lot it got a lot going on that a lot of fans don't understand. It ain't just okay, Mike Rump saying I want such and such, and I got to go out there and recruit him and get him. You know, like right. it, it, he's he's just the cornerback coach. Everything has to go through the head coach. Right, 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 right. Everything has to go through the court and crew coordinator, um, the defensive coordinator, all that. So, so it's, <laughs> it's a lot. It ain't just 
he not getting them because he not getting them. It's a lot to do with it. You know what I'm saying? So right. So so the question is 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 Mike Ruff and and it all started with Sertain and Burns, right? That's where it all started because we thought we I had mean, a shoe in. Listen, we thought we had a shoe we in. Thought we, had a shoe, we thought we had a we thought we had a shoe in with with Patrick Sertain and Tyson Campbell. Cause Tyson Campbell. He goes to him in high school. Tyson he Campbell. like, oh, we gonna get them two for right, sure. Right, right, right. right. Even if we don't get both of them, we're going to get one for we, sure. We thought we were going to go. Because he coached them. So we just felt like we had a, a, a good chance. And we didn't land them. You know, and um, granted, our highest rated, according to the recruiting site, our highest rated cornerback.